you got old jeans sitting around your house. Maybe they're holy, maybe they're on their way to the thrift store, or you've outgrown them, or your kids have. Don't get rid of them just yet. Stick around with me today. Find out some really fun things you can make with them before they take their trip to the thrift store. Let's get started. I think I overbought at the thrift store. <laughs> So for these projects, it's going to be shabby wreaths, and there's going to be two of them. I'm going to start out by taking these jeans that I got at the thrift store. These were already cut at the waistband, so I just kind of started cutting where there was already cuts on them. However, as I went through the day doing the projects, I went ahead and learned that it's a lot easier to cut at the seams. So you're going to cut up the seams of both legs, and then you're going to cut the seams like on the inside of your legs, and you'll be left with two panels, and then you can cut them to your desired length. And then all I did was rip them into strips and then once I had really long strips then I took um, them into smaller strips and I just figured out the length that I wanted to do my wreath and then I started cutting these longer strips that I had torn from the pants into these smaller strips. All right, for this style wreath, um, I went ahead and just am tying them on. This is a macrame hoop that came from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99. Sometimes they go on sale. So this is a pretty inexpensive um, option as well. Uh, but all you're going to do is tie them really tight. And I've made a couple wreaths like this before. So there's nothing special about this. If you wanted to add like red, white, and blue in there for a more 4th of July or Americana look, you could do that. I'm just going with straight jeans for a more like everyday look. And then I can have this hanging um, just as everyday decor. But once I get all my pieces all around this hoop, then I will show you guys what it looks like styled in some decor. So for this style wreath, we're going to take a wreath form from the Dollar Tree, and these are the ones that have the four rings. I believe this one is a 16 inch wreath form. So we're going to take those same strips and we're going to be just, um, not, they're not really knotting them, we're just folding it over and tying it really tight onto each one of the rings. So this is really time consuming, um, but the outcome is really, really cool. So I'm going to explain it a little bit more here. All right, so I finished the first uh, section. So I went from this like one ring to one ring here. And I did go ahead and do all four of the rings that are in the wreath form. Now this last ring here, I think that this is really optional. The reason that I did it was because my wreath form was broken. And so if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but it's broken right there and so in order to keep it kind of together and the same size, I went ahead and tied a piece from this third ring to the last ring and then I kind of made that super like together taut I guess you would say um, just so that it was holding it together. So I went ahead and then filled in that fourth ring because I had put that there. So I kind of feel like that one's optional, um, but it does give it a really fun, like full look here. The other kind of thing that I changed a little bit as I was crafting is this first row here. I have like these kind of thicker pieces of denim and then on the end I had like these more thin pieces of denim. I like this thin piece better than I like this thick piece, but I will give you guys the dimensions for both pieces down in the description box and you guys can decide if you want the thicker or the thin. Uh, but I'm going to continue this process all around this entire wreath form. This is time consuming, so put on a show, a book, uh, whatever you're into, and just get to going. I'm just cutting my pieces, so I have my pieces, um, and these were the bigger size, and then all I did to make the smaller size was to cut that in half and tear it, just like that. So here's a little bit of update as I go around through the wreath. Now I started out with one pair of jeans and they were a slightly darker color and they did not fray quite like the other jeans did. Um, so I left that section, I'm going to put that section at the top, but I used the rest of the jeans to cover in the rest of this wreath. So it took me about two pairs of pants to do this entire wreath. 
and I did go ahead and do mostly those smaller strips of the jeans. I absolutely love how that turned out, so definitely um, think about doing the little smaller strips. So once I get the jean part all completed, I'm just taking leftover fabric I had. This is some of my um, Pioneer Woman fabric and then just some muslin that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to tie this into just a shoelace bow, pretty shabby bow here. And then I took one piece and I wrapped it around the middle just to kind of hold all the pieces together since the other ones weren't part of our bow. And then I just went ahead and trimmed them so that they were roughly about the same size and shape and then I'm going to attach it here by just looping this around the top and then I'm going to tie it in a knot with one of the other pieces of the fabric down there. You can't even tell it becomes a tail and here it is styled in some decor. You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stone Somebody told So for this project we're going to make some jean hearts and these are really easy. I just cut a pattern of a heart out of some paper from my printer and then I'm just using a sharpie. I'm using the inside of the jeans and I'm just going to trace my shape of the heart. I'm going to make two of them because I'm going to be gluing these together. Now you could sew these together if you like. You need a little bit thicker sewing needle for uh, sewing jeans. I did not have that. So I'm just using hot glue here but you can definitely use fabric glue as well. Well, and I'll show you that option here in a little bit for another project that I'm doing in this video. But this is really simple. We're just going to hot glue it around, leave a hole, and then we're going to stuff it with some of my polyfill. I get mine from Walmart. Um, these are super fun. You can put them in tiered trays. You can use them in other projects. Um, these just become kind of a filler to use in your other projects that you're doing. Now depending on the kind of jeans you use, it might fray more. You could actually wash these pieces before you use them and then you would get more fraying around the edges as well. I didn't do that. I washed mine before I did any of the projects today, um, but it just kind of depends. So if you want to cut out all your pieces and then wash them, you'll get a lot more frayed distressed look. But I'm just going to stuff this to the desired look that I want and then I'm just going to add some hot glue here to finish off the stuffing here in the heart. I would love to know if you guys use your old jeans for projects or if you've ever used your old jeans for projects so let me know down in the comments what you've made with old jeans. So once I get this all glued and some of my stuffing does kind of come out as I'm gluing it but that's okay because these are made to be shabby so it's okay if the edges are showing if stuffing's coming out because that's kind of the look. So then I'm going to take this ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just making a simple fold over bow. These are kind of called awareness bows as well. You make them into an awareness ribbon and then you fold the back and it becomes this cute bow. You can also use twine here to tie it off in the middle if you don't want to use the hot glue and that makes a super cute look too. I was fumbling through this hot glue today so I probably should have used the twine here but anyway either way it'll work hot glue or twine. I'm going to glue mine down to the middle and then I'm going to add some buttons here just to give it a little bit more shabbiness. I was thinking pearls would look really cute here too and I know I'm going for a red white and blue look here but you do not have to do that. You could use any ribbon here and it would look just as cute. So I'm just going to cut my ends at an angle. You could dovetail them here too if you wanted to. I just chose not to. I went ahead and made two hearts. So for the second heart I made a shabby bow using that same fabric or the same ribbon. And then I'm going to also um, use some buttons here. But I just took some twine, tied off my ribbons in the middle, and then I'm just going to glue it to the top corner. Then I took two different colored uh, buttons and I'm going to glue those on top. One is a white button and one is a blue button. And then I go back to kind of trim up my ribbons just so that some of them aren't quite a lot longer than the other one. And then that's it and here it is styled in some decor. Take some good Hey, 
Are you enjoying today's video? I hope so. If you are, hit that like button. It really helps my video get seen by other people and I'll let you get back to it. For this project, we're gonna make a shabby apron and I'm gonna use this apron for crafting, but you could actually use it for the kitchen if you wanted to do that as well. I'm gonna take these pair of pants and I'm going to cut them kind of like I'm cutting them into like short shorts. I'm gonna cut off both of the pant legs on both sides. And then once I get the pant legs cut off, I'm gonna cut off the crotch area so then I have this open area, but they are still both attached. Then I'm gonna cut up the sides of, on both sides so that I'm going to remove the front of these. I'm gonna be using the back with the pockets so that I can use the pockets, like as I'm crafting, I can put things in there. And um, you could also, if you're using this in the kitchen, like utensils and things like that could go in there if you if you wanted to. The really nice thing about a jean apron is that it can get, it's really durable, it can get dirty, and um, it can withstand a lot more than maybe just a fabric apron. Um, so then I'm going to just using pieces of the jean to attach like some um, strips along the side to tie in my back. I'm using hot glue, but as you could see, there is some fabric glue options that you could use or you could sew. Like I mentioned before, you need a special needle to sew through jeans because they are such a thick material. So if you have that and you are wanting to sew them, you can definitely do that too. Once I get my ties glued on, then I'm ready to kind of assemble the rest of my skirt, or my skirt, my apron. So I have some various pieces of fabric left over, and I picked up some ribbon at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to kind of measure them to all be the same length, and then I'm going to cut up those pieces so that I'm all ready to assemble them. So I have this like cream colored small ribbon, I have a thicker cream ribbon and a white ribbon, and then I picked up this floral ribbon that kind of matched my Pioneer Woman fabric and I cut that all into strips. So I'm ready to start assembling my apron and I wanted to, to have a more like finished look at the bottom. So I took some of my ribbon and I just measured it to be the length of each side of the bottom part and I'm just going to hot glue that on. So I hot glue the one side and then I'm sort of um, overlapping it but you can't tell and then I'm just going to glue that other part on. I do flip it over and kind of glue the piece to the back as well. So now I'm ready to adhere my ribbons and I just randomly decided like I would pick ribbons and I'd put them and then I'd put some fabric so there was no rhyme or reason to like how I decided to do it but I just kind of overlapped um, whatever I was putting next to it so I would put this ribbon and then I'm going to take a bigger ribbon and then some fabric and I'm just going to do that all the way down till I get to the other side of the apron. So this is just you know up to your whatever you want to do. This is definitely a creative license here. And obviously this is customizable. You guys know I love Pioneer Woman, so this was sort of Pioneer Woman inspired. But if that is not your jam, you know, you can definitely pick ribbon and fabric that goes with your style. So here it is with one kind of um, continuous line of fabric and ribbon and I decided to go ahead and go back over some of the spaces that looked a little sparse and I'm just going to glue on top of my ribbons some more fabric and some more of the um, smaller ribbons just here and there to kind of balance it out and that is really all there is to this project. It's super fast, it's super customizable, it's adorable and here it is styled in some decor and I am even going to model it for you. The wind makes way across the fields mm -hmm. Let me take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm -hmm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend so for this project, we're going to make a jean flower, and this is super easy. It's really just an embellishment. I kind of thought about putting it on the wreath, but I changed my mind. But I just cut out my pattern, and then I put it again on the bottom side of the jean fabric, cut out my pieces, and now I'm just going to lay them on top of each other. Now, fabric glue would work great here as well. Um, I decided to just go ahead and use the hot glue again, but 
for a more permanent feel or a washable feel even, you can use the fabric glue. So we're going to lay that on top of each other. We're going to lay our smaller one on top of that. And then we have this kind of three piece flower. Now there's a lot of options that you could do here in the middle of it. I chose to do buttons, but beads would go here. Um, pearls would go here. There's a lot of options here. You could even sew in the middle to make it look a little bit more like flower, um, but I just went for just an easy flower here. So all I'm going to do, I have this shabby bow left over from a different project. I'm just going to glue that into the middle of my shabby bow and show you here styled on a basket. Remember, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start, and I will see you in my next video. Now go get crafting. See you next time.